Think of what you're doing, yeah.
Hey guys, we are here at the Long Hunter State Park in, uh, where are we at again? Starts with an M, where are we at? Mount Juliet. Mount Juliet, Tennessee, yes. Look My at old this. stopping grounds. Look at all this uh, beautiful dock area here. Just got done doing Spigma. And uh, it's not the best scenery you can see over there. But it's ended up being a beautiful day. It's got to be probably close to 68, 70 degrees maybe out right here. Nice looking scenery out here, maybe a little bit. We've had an awesome day. My hands have definitely got a workout in Spigma. And uh, got a cool bunch of swag I'll probably be talking about. Maybe in a little later. But uh, yeah, enjoyed ourselves. Hopefully uh, you have been enjoying the videos, which I'm going to probably put up before this. This is just going to be a short little vlog. But it's been an awesome day, and let's do some more scenery here. Check that out. Little boat dock looking thing right there. Yeah. Sue me. And better still, the fact that it's froze. Are you kidding? It is froze. Isn't that awesome? Oh my goodness, it is. <laughs> I wonder That's why like there's no current or anything except for this little puddle here. It's actually froze. The lake is froze, man. That's awesome. That's cool. You see what little channel they're moving. Really cool. Man, just to look at it, it looks like a. Uh, well, not only that, but look, it, you'll see the lake is way down. I mean, look where it usually is. Oh, yeah, yeah. They let down for the winter. Oh, okay. The NBA does that. Wow. But look where we can see all the old, like, I guess old buildings and dock material. It's just yeah. buried. That's well, cool. That is neat, though. Let's see if we can get a zoom in of this. You see the channel running right there? And all of a sudden, nothing. Nothing's happening here. Nothing at all, folks. No fishy swimming or anything. That'd be cool if we saw a bunch of fish frozen. It's pretty wild to zoom in on that just a little bit. Blowing. First time I do believe I've ever seen a frozen lake. That is amazing. Let's go for a walk. Alright guys, that's it for now, we'll see you on the flip side. Okay, this is just like maybe seconds after I stopped that last part. <laughs> but uh, I wanted you to see the trail here that we're on, it's pretty cool. And uh, I think I've decided to go ahead and do the little swag report on the way home. I'll have the wifey hold the camera while I tell you guys what I got. Or it may have to happen, because I'll be driving, it may have to happen, uh, nice. it may have to happen when I get home then I'll you know give you an idea of what I got not much it's kind of disappointed they didn't have any kind of bumper stickers whatsoever dire needed some good bumper stickers for my guitar case because mine's just wearing out I've got that nice look and everything but I gotta have some more bumper stickers if any guys want to send me some good Martin or uh, any kind of good bumper stickers for my guitar case holy cow <laughs> feel free to let me know and I'll give you my address where to send them so I need some good bumper stickers. And uh, if I put one on the case or on my car, I'll feature it on the channel. This is wifey. The reason I started this not only is because of the path, but because of, uh, we're talking about grilling out later. It's gonna be awesome. It's like, like I said, what do, you, what do you think? What's your estimate on the weather out here? 64. 64. It is a little cooler. It's a to cool me, breeze. I can't really tell because I'm burning up, but it's perfect out here for me. and. Uh, this is totally, we're gonna to grill out the first grill out of the year. It's happening on, today is right now, February 1st. So we're gonna grill out and do that today. So let's do a little shot of the uh, trees and then we'll be done for this section. Very nice, very nice. A little bit of the sun peeking out over there. Wifey bouncing, getting very impatient. We're in the nature land, woman. You're supposed to be patient and enjoy the scenery. Yes, we're enjoying the scenery, not vlogging. <laughs> you heard it for your, your first, guys. 
all right guys I don't know if you can see this or not but up there is a huge flock of buzzards and we're making our approach yes we are making our approach big old bunch of them sitting in the trees so let's see if we can yeah, there they are. Let's see if you can see this big old mass of buzzards there. See them sticking out? Let's get out over here on the bridge and then we'll be able to see them. Oh, we gotta, we gotta get out here. Look at the pile of them. Yeah, there's a ton of them over there. There's a big old bunch of them. And then we got a huge pile of them right there in the trees. A lot of buzzards. Ooh, that a lot of vultures. Here's one coming at us. One tiny one way up in the sky. More. Bunch of them. Buzzard City. Buzzard Meat. Over here, let's pan out where we're at. That's where we started, folks. Way up there on the docks. And now we're way out here once again with the frozen lake. Awesome guys. What is the wifey up to? I'm following Crikey. Following the wifey in her natural habitat. <laughs> but isn't this cool? You've got this where the water comes in, so you can see it. It comes in over that little bit and then it'd be a puddle here when the water's high and it's the way it's worked the rocks. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. That'd be plum mm -hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, well, that's pretty. That's nice. Now you can see me, huh? Yes. Mm. I love those so you can see straight up down this. Alright. Back we go. All over the hill. What can we find next? No tail. <laughs> He's probably looking that way. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Stay looking that way. All right, guys. Um, as you see, I'm at my desk again. This is actually, I think, let's see, the Monday after the Spigma weekend. And I didn't feel like doing uh, any kind of ending to the vlog there that you saw. But... I told you that I would talk about some swag that I got and I'll go over the actual review of some of these things later but as you can see I always get a Martin guitar lanyard I just love these things uh, I don't really use them a whole lot but I get them and I've got a button that I thought I, I didn't have but I already have this one Not just a guitar a legend I don't know why but this looks like it's really out of focus it's actually that looks better not only did I get that but ta-da I've got a brand new blue chip pick to review. Matthew Goins, the owner, was kind and gracious enough to uh, give me a sample that I will be reviewing sometime in the future. It's very awesome. I must say that. It says blue chip picks, great tone like tortoiseshell, but blue chip picks require no polishing. And uh, they're made in Knoxville, Tennessee. Check them out at bluechippick.net. Uh, thanks, Matthew, for being gracious enough, gracious enough to give me one of those for reviewing so that all you awesome YouTube fans can check out this pick. Now everybody knows I'm a big pick fiend. I love my picks. But I've never, I actually tried a blue chip pick once and didn't really like it. But I think uh, that's because of the, the gauge was the wrong kind of gauge. So um, the one that I got, I actually kind of tried a little bit tested it out and I've been playing it to play it at a show last night at a church when we was singing and it held up really well had a nice tone and I'll be going over an extensive review some things that I noticed about it some some cool things about it I never really noticed before on other picks and so check out that and the other thing that I've got 
uh, I was really wanting some bumper stickers. Didn't find any. Nobody had any bumper stickers whatsoever. That kind of disappointed me. I wanted some new ones for my guitar case, but that didn't happen. But anyway, just let me just pan up here and show you what else I received from Martin themselves. A free pack of Martin Tony Rice signature strings. These are the Monel strings. So this is straight from the Martin guitar uh, blog here. Which you can go to uh, cfmartinblog.wordpress.com and check that out. So the Martin Monells are back apparently, and apparently the story is uh, I never thought I'd see the day when I could put Martin Monell strings back on my D28. Welcome back, old friend. I've missed you. That's what he said when he put them on and tried them again for the first time in many years. So you can go to there and look up. I guess Tony Rice signature strings in the search box up here. Once again, go to cfmartinblog.wordpress.com right up here. And uh, check those out. I, I will be doing a review of these as well. Um, these are going to be some awesome strings, I hope. I'm not sure. They're not really bronze. Now, I went to another area of the actual Martin website, martinguitar.com slash strings slash string dash training and it says that monel is a nickel alloy that is known for its incredible lush tone it fell out of popularity due to being a difficult material to machine we are thrilled to have it back for use in our tony rice signature series most players totally not doing this right most players tend to describe monel strings as perfectly as sounding perfectly broken in right out of the box i'm not familiar with this um, alloy myself uh, when it comes to strings. Uh, I'm a phosphor bronze for person. As you can see, phosphor bronze is listed right here. But it's, it's some kind of nickel alloy that's known for its incredible lush tone. I love phosphor bronze. Never tried these, so I'm glad that Martin, they was basically opening a, a bunch of strings and they gave me a pack of them. And so now I will be able to review the Tony Rice signature string for you guys very soon. Alright? So thank you for watching and I hope you got some good um, I hope the footage was okay. I haven't watched it yet. My wife was doing all the uh, videotaping of the uh, bluegrass footage and stuff that we were picking. But um, I'll go back and look at it and edit and make sure it looks all right for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed um, the picking. And hope hopefully some of you got some maybe some ideas from watching all the pickers play. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, comment, rate, all the good stuff so that others can benefit from this awesome, awesome material and content all right check out my website so that you can go check out and sign up for the newsletter not newsletter but mailing list so that you can uh, know when all the updates are happening and what's going on and follow me along in the process all right thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you guys later and god bless